today's Friday, September 12, we're going to continue our conversation with circle to understand all properties of circle, diameter, circumference, area, radius, everything. Along the way, we'll try to understand the relationship between circumference versus diameter, which is c is equal to pi d. From there, we're going to try to understand area versus radius graph, whose relationship a equal to pi r square. But you cannot get any slope is because it's quadratic relationship. So you're going to linearize it by squaring the x-axis, which is radius r square. So area versus r square, linearize the quadratic relationship to a linear relationship. So you get the slope, which is pi. Small circle, s1. And you have a big circle, s2. Then s2 is k s1. K is d2 over d1. This one is c1, this one is c2, this one is d1, this one is d2. So c2 is kc1, d2 is kd1. So c2 over d2 is equal to kc1 over kd1. K k cancel. c2 over d2 is equal to c1 over d1. C, C2 over D2 is equal to pi. 2 over D2 is also pi. What is pi? Pi is the ratio between C and D. So the relationship you discover C is pi D by is going to approximate pi just 3. Okay, because I'm not going to use the calculator. Okay, so 1 and 3. If the diameter is 2, okay, if the diameter is 2, then it's 6. If the diameter is 3, then it's 9. If the diameter is 4, then you have 3 times 4, 12. Okay. 1 give you 3, 2 give you 6, 3 give you 9, 4 give you 12. Your point coming from the base fit line. So I'm going to use this. Okay. So this is uh, D1, comma C1. So I'm going to say this is 1.5, 4.5. Okay. I'm going to take one more point. So this is 3.5, 5. 5 minus 4.5, 5, 3.5 minus 1.5. So slope is 3. All right. Now I'm going to find the percent error. Percent error is true value minus calculated value divided by true value times 100. So the true value is 3.14 minus 3 divided by 3.14.5, which is less than 5. That's fine. We're going to go to area versus r. Consider circle. You not only understand the relationship between circumference and diameter. You also need to understand the relationship between area and radius. So we discover C is equal to pi D. And we know that diameter is equal to 2R. So this is 2 pi R. So R is C over 2R, uh, 2 pi. Okay, so radius is C over 2R. And that's going to help us a little bit in a few seconds. But let's continue our conversation. Now, Archimedes, what Archimedes did, he took a circle, he drew a circle, and he inscribed a square inside the circle. Hmm. And he circumscribed a circle outside, uh, a square outside the circle. So what I have is inequality. That means the area of circle is less than area We're going to call out, but this is called sad come inscribe. But I'm going to call area out and area in. What is area inside? Inside means this one. Okay, let's find area inside. To find area inside, you're going to write this one as. This one, let's draw this one here and let's draw the circle here. Okay, 
so you can go back and forth when you need this one has side right so the diameter of the circle is this one this is the circle so the diameter of the circle is 2r circle is 2r okay we're gonna start our conversation with diameter of circle 2r then what you're gonna do is that the if this is s this is s what is this one the distance from here to here is d squared is equal to s squared plus s squared so d squared is equal to 2s squared so we're going to square root everything so d is equal to 4 um, square root 2 and then s okay so you have square root of s square root of 2 so now d you're going to replace by 2r so s is equal to d over the square root of the square root of 2 so d is 2r the square root of 2 you rationalize it okay by rationalize it this two these two cancel so s is equal to the square 2 um, r is square root of 2 so area area so you're gonna write area up this one is area is s is square area of uh, square is s is square right area of square is s is square so what is s r is square root of 2 square what is that that is 2r square so you're going to replace this one by 2r squared. 2r squared. So area of the circle is greater than 2r squared, which is true. You're going to prove that. Now you're going to do the bigger one, this one. How can you do that? Okay, so you can do that here on the top. You have the diameter. So the diameter of the circle is 2r what is the area area is still s square so that area of the circle um, area of the square is 2r square so area of s is 4r square so you're gonna write 4r square this 4 is oh okay one second so 2r square Area of the circle is pi r squared, 4 r squared. r squared, r squared, r squared cancel. Pi is 3.14. So it is right, 3.14 is less than 4 and greater than 2. Now we're going to draw the graph. First of all, we have now r and a1. I'm starting from this one 0, 0,0, 0. 1,3. 1 comma 3 and 5 comma 7 2 comma 12 wow this is perfect quadratic so relationship is a is equal to pi r square so we're gonna linearize it how we can relinearize it we're gonna be squaring this one and see that's help so this is r square and this is of course area we're going to linearize it so this is r square and this is a so if r is 1 r square is 1 square so this is 1 and the area is 3 so just 2 and that is 7 and 2 square is 4 and that is 12 after that i'm going to use 0 comma 0 1 and 3 1 and 3 2 and 7 2 and 7 and 4 and 12 4 and 12 so this is linear okay we're gonna now find the slope to find the slope i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go here and and go here 
So this is one, this is, I have one comma five comma 5.5. Go something like 2.6 and I'm gonna go something like nine. So 2.6 comma nine. So I have slope is nine minus 5.5 and I have 2 comma 6 minus 1.5. So I have 1.1, 2.18. So Poisson add-out is 3.18 minus 3.14, 3.14 times 100 percent absolute entry. So we linearize it from quadratic to linearizing it. Now the relationship is again uh, the slope is pi. Okay, because we quadra we linearize it by squaring it. 